Welcome to another video by AllFreeBeadedJewelry.com and KeepSickCraft.net. Today we're going to make this caged beads bracelet. You'll be amazed at how easy it is. The supplies for this project are fairly simple. You'll need several eye pins in the color of your preference. You'll need an assortment of beads. You'll also need about two yards of 20 gauge wire. For tools, it's very useful to have a ruler in your workspace so that you can cut consistent lengths of wire. You'll also need one or two pairs of chain nose pliers. You'll also need a pair of round nose pliers and some wire cutters. So the first step is to make the cage for your beads. And you'll start by cutting an approximately 9 inch length of wire. So you'll start with your round nose pliers, grab the end of your wire and just give it a twist. And what we're going to be doing is making a spiral. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to worry about it being extremely tight because we actually need a little space in there for a head pin to go through. You'll see what I mean later. But use your round nose pliers just to get your spiral started. And once you get it started, you can just grab it with your fingers. Try to keep it flat so I have it right on my index finger. I put my thumb over it and twist. And you just want to spiral along until you've used up half the wire. So in this case, about four and a half inches. This is why it's nice to just leave your ruler down here on your work surface. That looks good. And then we'll repeat for the other end. And what you're going to make is a spirally S shape. So that the, when the two spirals are finished, they'll be pointing in opposite directions, just like that. Simple enough so far, that didn't take very long. The next thing you'll need to do is actually fold this S in half. The next thing you'll want to do is take your folded spiral, grab the center with your round nose pliers of one of the spirals, and just give a little pull. And suddenly there's your cage happening. Do the same on the other side. And there's your cage for your bead. So the next step is to grab a bead, take one of your eye pins, this is a little bit the tricky part. You want to just open up that cage where you folded it. Tuck your bead in and try to line up the whole of the bead with the centers of your spirals because that's where your... Oh, I got lucky there. That is where your eye pin is going to go through. And then you can spend a little time fiddling and adjusting your cage so that it's as even or not as you like on your bead. Once you're happy with the way that looks, you can finish the other loop with the eye on the other uh, eye on the eye pin. Chain nose pliers that have the little itty bitty tips. And I'm going to grab that eye pin with just the very tip of these pliers and then bend that eye pin at a 90 degree angle just like that. Next, right at that bend, put the tips of your round nose pliers. Wrap you got to hold on to it nice and tight, otherwise it moves or you don't want it to. Hold on to that. Wrap that around your round nose pliers as far as it will go. It will only go so far. And then shift the position of your round nose pliers 
and go ahead and finish the wrap. And there's one unit, uh, one bead in a cage. So you will repeat those steps for all the rest of the beads that you have. So I went ahead and did six beads, although I may only need five for this bracelet. We'll see how the measurements work out. But now for the next step, you'll need an 18-inch piece of your 20-gauge wire and something to wrap it around. This is the, an 8-inch mandrel. You could also use a piece of coat hanger wire. Um, as long as it's smooth and firm, simply start in about the middle of your wire and start coiling it in nice, yeah, we want these to be nice tight coils around your mandrel. We'll go ahead and wrap them around, leaving on one end, leave a little over an inch of wire uncoiled. We're going to use that part to make the clasp. So now I've wrapped my whole 18 inches of wire with the exception of this about an inch at one end around the mandrel. And then you can just go ahead and slide your coils off your mandrel. And the next thing you'll need are uh, a pair of close cut wire cutters. These really do work the best. And what we're going to be doing is making an interesting kind of connector for this bracelet. It's very simple to do, but it's a little bit more interesting than jump rings. So find where the end of your wire is and count so that you have one, two, and you can pull them apart a little bit, one, two, three full loops. So I'll be right here. And cut right across from that other end so that you don't have any extra. It's just one, two, three full rings. And that's what this will look like. It's just three rings. And all you're going to do, that I'm bad, I'm using my fingernails here, but you can use a tool. You're just going to flatten out these two end loops, kind of like wings. And this is your actual connector for your bracelet. It's like a figure eight with a loop on top. And it's just kind of fancy and decorative. So go ahead and do that. Cut all the rest of these into sets of three, uh, making sure that you have at least two or three loops at the end of this. And I will show you what to do with this once you have these all cut. So, to make your own clasp with this piece, the first thing you're going to do is, just like on the figure eight pieces, bend down one of the loops, just one, the one that's opposite that long piece that you left out. And if you need to, use your chain nose pliers to flatten that out so that that cut edge isn't sharp against your skin. Then use your round nose pliers to make a small loop at the very end. And that just keeps, again, that sharp cut end from being rough on your skin. Then find the widest part of your round nose pliers. Put the center of this one inch piece that was sticking out about the center and just bend it around. And then you'll just keep bending and fiddling, flatten it out a bit, and shape it until you have a hook that you like the shape of. You see how I use that round bit to make that shape nice. And there's the hook for your clasp. Then the only thing left to do put these together with one of these figure eight jump rings in between each bracelet, um, each caged bead. Put your hook on one end and you'll be all done. I hope you've enjoyed this project. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.